For 50 years, Boo Boo Records in downtown San Luis Obispo has been opening its doors to music lovers since 1974. I'm Dylan Foreman, your community reporter in San Luis Obispo, where I found out how this record store survived and thrived in the area over the years. Owner Mike White has been coming to work here since 1978 when as a college student at Cal Poly, he walked in for the first time and was hooked. I love what I do. I love coming to work. It's a dynamic industry. An industry that has seen a revival despite being in an age of streaming. The renaissance of vinyl, we are finding it's been skewing even younger than you know, 10 years ago. But the resurgence of vinyl is also nostalgic. For Karen Wilkins, who has been working at Boo Boo Records since 1976, she fell in love with records in the sixth grade walking down the street to buy the Meet the Beatles album. I was just enamored and I had to have the album. That's where it all started. 48 years later in the store that stood the test of time, she still gets that same thrill and joy from records like she did when she was a kid. It just takes me back to a time of Perfect. <laughs> Boo Boo Records has seen changes over its 50 years. Changes in ownership, forms of listening to music, a change in stores, and even changes to what they sell with the addition of merchandise and CDs to supplement their vinyl sales. Through it all, they've not just survived, but thrived in an area that values their uniqueness. At the time when it was, you know, it was touch and go, and we're, you know, we're super strong and and uh, everything's good. A feat that White could never have predicted as a wide-eyed employee in 1978. If you'd have asked me, yeah, when I was a kid in 1978 or 79, if it's, I was going to keep doing this or if this would be around, you know, I wouldn't even have been able to wrap my head around it. In honor of 50 years, Boo Boo Records is having a 50th anniversary concert series. Their next one is July 2nd with a performance from the Charities. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Dylan Foreman. KSBY News.